I was supposed to go do some running around this afternoon just to get a few things for the house, but we're experiencing a little bit of snow right now. Yeah. Snowing quite a bit. So Steve went to the gym to go do some work. I've got my online clients to check in on, but I'm just going to do some stuff in the nursery now. Definitely say I'm like going through a nesting slash cleaning phase right now. I will work for like an hour with my online stuff, but I've just been cleaning the house today like a maniac on my breaks. I've steamed all the floors, vacuumed, done the baseboards, done, you know, our walk-in shower. I'm just cleaning the dishwasher now, and I'm also cleaning all the registers in our house. For anyone that hasn't seen the nursery, this is where we're at. So I just need to get some curtains, hang up the mobile, and then um, just add the artwork to the wall, really. It's pretty much done. We're so excited. Yeah, we've got this awesome adjustable skip hop bouncer, um, his crib. We don't have the mattress in there yet, but it's on its way. Put the diaper genie together. Um, we've got this amazing portable swing. Sister got us this swing, and it's awesome because it's a swing and a bouncer, vibrator, chair, thingy-mabopper, and it's just really light, so it'll be great that we can move this to different rooms in the house. I also picked up this really cute little laundry hamper. It's a three sprouts one. So you can like just throw the clothes in the hole. Then when you're ready, you just pick it up by the handles and you can carry it down the stairs. So nice. And then this stuff here is just stuff for my hospital bag that I'm slowly packing. So just some blankets, extra diapers, drinks, snack bars, and trail mix for Steve so he doesn't get hungry. Now, some people are going to be like, why are you packing diapers when you're going to the hospital? I don't know, but when I did our little hospital tour thing, they said that they only provide six diapers, so I'm packing extra. I thought it was weird, too. And then we were very lucky that we received this beautiful um, diaper bag, and it's a backpack, so I love it. Steve, I know for sure, is going to like it more than some of the bags on the market, and I'm packing this one for baby stuff. I love that this one has stroller straps, so I can just attach it right to the stroller, which will be great when we're out in the summer at football games. And then it comes with, you know, a portable change pad. It's got tons of different storage compartments and pockets. So here's what the inside looks like. It's kind of hard to show with one hand. But I love that it opens, like, oops, so nice and big. And then the change pad goes in here. Throw a couple bottles in here. Water bottle for mom and dad out there. And this pack and play will actually be making its way down to our master bedroom when the little guy gets here because this is where he will be sleeping so that he can stay in our room for at least, you know, the first few months. Okay, and now for the really fun stuff. I am going to put together our stroller today because I've been dying to see it and I just I can't leave it in the box any longer feel really lucky and we're super excited that we actually partnered up with Nuna Canada through EI Brands as well as Canada's Baby Store. So, you know, they helped us pick all this stuff out. They've been super awesome. Being a first-time mom, it's extremely overwhelming and hard to know what's going to be best for you, but also best for your lifestyle. And the folks over at EI Brands and Canada's Baby Store have just been amazing helping me through it all mentioned before that we went with the Nuna Mix Stroller and we got it in caviar, which is their black color. If you've never heard of Nuna, they're a European brand and their strollers are so sleek, modern, and just have awesome features. All right, so I'm going to crack this box open and we're going to see what we got in here. Okay, so I've got it open. Um, I think I'm just going to take all the pieces out and try and find the instructions so I don't mess up putting this thing together. I think that these two pieces are actually the only pieces that are not attached, so I'm just going to try and slide the rest of this out of the box. I was correct. So the rest of it just slides out in one piece, and I can see the instructions. So I'm going to read those and see what it says. Okay, so I've pulled it out, um, I've found the wheels, a couple little, I think these are the car seat adapter clips, um, and then there's a few other things in plastic to take out in here. 
Also wanted to say that I think it's fitting that we went with the Nuna brand since it's inspired by Dutch designs and my hubby is a Dutchie. Definitely not a ton of parts. There's like the belly bar thing, um, brakes, wheels, canopy, um, a couple clips, the instruction manual, but the main stroller is all together. So I folded up the top piece already, um, but it says step one is just to unfold the whole thing. So let's, let's see what it looks like when I do that. So there we go. That was pretty easy. I just popped the handle up and it's already starting to look like a stroller sans wheels. <laughs> so let's get those put on. Now that it's unfolded, I just have to zip on this canopy piece onto the stroller. So let's do that now. Oh, the canopy is attached and on. So it's just this piece here that I had to put on. But let me show you how big the canopy on this actually gets. This with one hand, but you basically unzip this and then kapow! Super canopy. Look how far down that goes. Look how much coverage there is there. It's awesome. It's got these awesome breathable mesh um, along the sides and then there's also a cute little peekaboo window that doesn't use a velcro It's just magnetic, which is awesome because velcro is annoying sometimes Got to pop on the wheels, which seems like you just click them in so I'm gonna put in the front and back wheels and then we should be moving It moves um, Yeah, that was super simple to put together. I put the um, Brake on got the storage basket set up snap the wheels in took like a minute super fast all right and i just popped on the um, arm bar here that went together super fast and it's ready to go like i could use this right now if i wanted to in the back here you just grab on to this piece and it's actually a full fold flat seat which is awesome so it goes way down we won't be using it with this seat for a little while because, you know, little guy is going to be too tiny to use it. Um, but yeah, the footrest on here just comes up and down. Super simple. Yeah, the calf support has three different positions that you can go in. The back support has five different reclines that you can make it go up or down with. And you can adjust the shoulder strap. So if you unzip this piece here in the back, you can see that there are multiple holes um, to feed the shoulder straps through so that you can adjust it to the perfect size for your child. So it's already set on the smallest ones. So I'm gonna leave it there. The little man grows and gets bigger. You can move the shoulder straps up and up and up. Um, yeah, just by unzipping the back here, which is awesome. I like that they keep it nice and covered too. Okay, so I spent a little bit of time playing around with this, um, you know, playing around with the swivel locks and the canopy and all that. One of my favorite things about this stroller, though, is that it can go front or rear facing. So I'm going to try and turn it around. And that was ridiculously easy to turn around. You basically press these up on each side and lift it and turn. I'm going to see if I can do it hands-free for you guys. So this was pretty simple. Basically, you just pinch these up and then you can flip it around and then you just put it back in the locks. And now you guys have all seen my Christmas pajamas. <laughs> so as I mentioned, I won't actually be using this seat um, that comes with it right away. We'll be using the car seat um, because it is a travel system. So I'm going to try and put the car seat together now and put that on the stroller. I can't stop. I'm having a little food break because I just realized that I haven't eaten in a little bit. I'm enjoying some homemade veggie, barley, and meatball soup. And then I'm going to attach that car seat. I'm going to get it done today. To go with our Nuna mix, we went with the Nuna Pippa car seat, which has like one of the fastest install rates on the market, and it's just got a ton of great features, just like the stroller does. So I'm going to open this one. This box was bigger, but lighter, and yeah, car seat is in here. I'm just going to pull it out. Get out of the box, haven't taken it out of the package yet. Um, car seat is sitting on its base. Uh, I can see the instruction booklet there and the cute little infant insert. So I'm just going to take the bag off and read the instructions. 
Okay, so here's the base. I'm not going to worry too much about this right now because I do have someone coming to make sure that our seat is installed securely and safely. But yeah, that's a look at the base there. And to Canada's baby show in Toronto, I did get to see the car seat in action on the base. They were highlighting how easy it was to use, but the car seat has even more features than I was aware of. Just finished reading about most of the safety features and how to use like the basic restraints in the instruction manual because I don't know, I just wanted to. And then just some of like the big features that the car seat offers in this little guide as well. First thing that I wasn't aware of was that it's got different positions for just the arm here. So this is like so the baby can stay nice and stable, obviously. Second position, um, you put it up and then this way you can kind of rock little baby sitting that way. And to change the positions, you just kind of pinch these guys on the side. And then this is the last position, which is just like a standard carry position. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of cool that the handle moved to three different positions. Tyson, do you think that's cool? You think it's cool, bud? And Tyson decided to stop by and help out for a little bit. <laughs> he wants to make sure that his new little buddy is going to be as safe as he possibly can. Don't you, bud? <laughs> Car seat has a lot of the same features that the stroller does. So it's got um, a peekaboo window right there. And it's also got a dream drape canopy that I have to show you. So let me just pull it out. This is what the dream drape looks like when it's pulled all the way down. So it gives a ton of awesome protection. It's got the breathable mesh. And like the stroller, it also just uses magnets, which I just love that you don't have to, you know, snap it. Because we are having a winter babe, and it's likely going to be very cold. I actually just removed the canopy because we got this really cool car seat cover to go over it. So yeah, I just removed the canopy, which is super simple because it just clips in here. And we're gonna be using the Skip Hop Stroll and Go car seat cover because look how cozy it looks. It'll be pretty easy to put over. It's just elastic, you stretch it over. You can open it up all the way. It's got this warm, cozy fleece, and I just can't wait to use it. There you go, it just slides right over. So this isn't designed to only be used with this car seat. This can be used with like any seat. Let's see. Oh, it's hard to do things with one hand. Hold on. The snap's undone, so you can snap it down so you can see your little babe in there, and then you can even unzip it. And it goes all the way around so that you have full access to baby without taking it off. If you want to keep it rolled away, you can roll it like this. And then it's got this little snap so you can keep it off to the side without this just dragging and, you know, hanging on there. So it's really, really easy to use. And now I'm just going to attach this um, car seat to the stroller and see how my travel system looks. And then I'm done, I promise, I think. There we go. I got it all assembled. Um, it snaps on really easy. It's just like taking the infant seat off and on. It just seems like this whole system is designed to be super, super simple, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now we just need a baby to go in there, which is hopefully just a few short weeks away. Just got back in from a walk with Tyson, and I realized I totally forgot to show you how this stroller closes. So I'm going to do that because I've got to store it until a little nugget arrives. To fold the stroller, you just pull up on these tabs here like this, bam, and then it clips and it folds right down and locks instantly. And then there you go, super compact.